One boy dreams of proving to himself that his hero is alive. After many attempts, he finally discovers the man that might be him. But the hero prefers that his legacy stays in the past. The boy narrates a story about two brothers, Samaritan and Nemesis. He states how they were very strong and in their youth their house was set on fire. That happening brought an end to their parents' lives. And because of that, Samaritan fought for justice, whereas his brother fought for vengeance. Nemesis created a hammer to defeat Samaritan. When they met at a power plant and battled there, they were ended by the explosion their fight brought about. But the boy narrating the story says he believes that Samaritan is still alive. We then see that boy lying in his bed and watching a talk about Samaritan. Then his mother tells him to take out the trash. When he does, he sprays a sign onto the trash container. After that, he sees some men come to the trash area and take out a fan from there before leaving. On the next day, that same man, Joe, works as a garbage man. He later crosses paths with the boy and they say a few words about the radio he collected. Then a bigger kid comes to him and offers him an opportunity to make some money. In the next scene, the boy, Sam, and his friend enter an abandoned house. Sam starts breaking a wall there and then pulls out a wire. After that, they both try selling the wires they collected. Then a few hoodlums arrive and offer a job to the big kid, but he refuses to do it. However, Sam takes it instead. Later, he and that gang go to a store and Sam pretends to be injured. The cashier comes out of his room to check on Sam and then the hoodlums enter that room and steal his belonging. When the man notices that the injury is fake, he runs after them, but they all get away. The scene changes to the hoodlums in their hideout. When they discover that what they stole was not what they wanted, Sam gets blamed by Rez. Then they get into a small fight until another man comes to them. That man, Cyrus, finds Sam's notebook and sees that the boy is a fan of Samaritan but he tells him that he likes Nemesis much more. He then gives him some money for what Sam did that day, and then gives much more money for what he will do in the future. Later on, Sam comes home and notices that the landlord won't let his mother into their apartment. He then gives the man the money he earned and he lets them in. While inside, Sam tells his mother a fake story about how he got that money, but she knows that it's fake and gives him a small lecture about doing the right thing. In the following scene, Cyrus and his gang acquire some bombs. Then we see Sam walking on the street and Rez seeing him there. He and his friends approach him and give the boy trouble before it escalates into a chase. When they catch him, they start beating him. But then Joe appears and throws both of them off. He then deals with Rez and his gang until they stay down completely. And in those fighting moments, he displayed unreal strength. After they all leave the scene, Sam picks up the knife that Joe bent. When he comes home, Sam looks into Joe's room with his binoculars. He notices that his back is burnt. Then he goes to Joe's building and checks his door to get his name. Sam returns and writes Joe Smith on his list of people who could be Samaritan. The scene changes to Cyrus and his gang. They dress up as cops and enter a building. Once there, Cyrus gives the officer one of the bombs and the place becomes theirs for the meantime. Afterward, he and his girlfriend still break down a vault door and find the hammer of Nemesis behind it. Sam then enters a bookstore and tells a man there that he found Samaritan. Supposedly, he has done this before, but the man doesn't believe him. Then he shows Sam a picture of the hammer of Nemesis. He states that it was forged from the hatred he had for his brother. After saying some more, the man asks him who he thinks Samaritan is this time, and Sam tells him about Joe after paying him to speak. He even shows him the bent knife, but the man still does not believe him. Later, Sam uses a dumpster to climb into Joe's apartment through his window. As he searches for evidence, he locates a scrapbook. In it, there are newspaper clippings mentioning Samaritan. He takes the book and goes home to hide it. Then Joe returns to his apartment and finds that it is missing. It doesn't take long before he knocks on the door where Sam lives at. When his mother opens the door, Joe tells her knowing that her son has something of his. Afterward, Sam returns it to Joe. He apologizes to him and also says that he's a fan. Then they end up meeting near the dumpster where Sam sprayed the sign. They speak about the book there and Sam asks Joe why he has it. And Joe responds that he's a fan just like the boy. When he walks away from him, he gets struck by a car at high speed. It was by Rez and his gang. This causes Sam to run to him and agonize over his damaged state. But while lying on the ground, Joe starts forming himself back into place after having broken bones. Then he gets up and goes home to take a shower. As he takes it, it creates an unreal amount of steam. Then he tells Sam that he needs to cool down by eating ice cream. If he doesn't, then his heart explodes. We then see Cyrus and his crew in their vehicle. One of the members throws a bomb into a manhole, and the blast creates a ruckus. After that, Cyrus speaks to the crowd that has gathered there. He speaks with the mask of Nemesis on him and the speech awakens the people. They cheer for him and accept him as Nemesis. Later, we see Joe having a dream where Samaritan and Nemesis fight. When he wakes up from it, he sees Cyrus delivering his speech on the TV news. After that, Sam meets Joe near a bus stop. When they ride the bus, Joe tells the boy that he doesn't like being around people. Then when they are off, Joe breaks a part of a door so he could enter a pawn shop. In there, he gives a man a camera for a small amount of money. Then as they walk home, Joe answers Sam's questions regarding his status as Samaritan. 
Afterward, Sam tells him that Joe could trust him with this information, and Joe tells him that running away is better than fighting. At some other time, Joe watches the news at home and on it, there are people shown wearing nemesis masks while raiding the city. He gets angry at that sight. On the next day, he meets with Sam, and Sam asks Joe to teach him how to fight. Despite their conversation from before, Joe agrees to it and tells Sam to meet him on the roof. When they're both there, Sam shows him his punches. Then Joe tells him to hit his hand. Sam tries but misses out of fear. After that, Sam strikes him in the belly and hurts his hand. Back at Joe's apartment, the man gives Sam some ice for his hand. And then he demonstrates some more of his supernatural strength on his toaster. Sam then asks him about what happened with him and Nemesis. And Joe states that Nemesis was ended that night. Sam tells him that the man in the bookstore told him that Nemesis had a plan to blow up the power plant. To this, Joe angrily states that he doesn't know what he's talking about and then tells the boy to leave. As Sam walks outside, Cyrus drives by and tells him to get in the car with them. When they all get to the hideout, Syl has a conversation with Sam there. She tells him that if he disappoints her family, then she will take everything from him. Cyrus and his friends then arrive at another place. There they take a man out of the trunk of a car and place him in a chair. Syl threatens him with fire and he says that he will leave forever. After Cyrus undoes his restraints, the man starts running away but gets shot to the ground by Cyrus. Sam observes the entire dreadful event. After that, the boy arrives back near his home and notices his friend being beaten by Rez and his gang. Sam then strikes Rez and removes his friend from their hold. But they then quickly bring Sam down and take him away with them. They leave him in a cart near Joe's window. And when Rez sees Joe through the window, he can't believe his eyes. They then run away. In the next scene, Joe sits in the hospital while Sam gets cared for. His mother comes to Joe and asks him why he couldn't stop the hoodlums. After that, Rez comes to Cyrus and his gang and tells them that Joe is alive after they hit him with the car. To that, Cyrus responds that he would like to meet that old man. Then as Joe walks outside, the gang follows him for quite some distance. Eventually, he stops and tells one of them that they're making a big mistake. Then he fights them and easily beats them all. As he walks away with a little girl, one of them gets up and throws a bomb near Joe. This causes Joe to take the little girl and get over a car with her. He then flips it over to protect him and her from the blast. Sometime later in his room, Joe observes what he did as it plays on the news. Sam then comes to him and talks about Cyrus's plan. But Joe does not want to help. This upsets Sam and he leaves. One of Cyrus's cronies then comes to Cyrus and shows him the news. This causes Cyrus to get angry and he states that after 25 years Samaritans return. He then takes his hammer and smashes the TV with it. The whole gang then arrives at Joe's building. Rest shows them where he lives and they enter his room. They then fire their guns in every direction they could. After that, Cyrus sees Sam through the window. He then makes a gun gesture to him. This prompts Sam and his mother to start running. As they run, the gang chases after them until mother and son arrive on the roof. When they get there, Syl points a gun at them from under the ladder and then the rest of the gang arrives and seizes the two. The next scene has Joe arriving at Sam's place to return his watch to the boy, but all he finds is his mother sitting on the floor. When she tells him what happened, we see Joe going somewhere and getting into his garbage truck, but before he leaves, he loads it with barrels. As he rides, he soon arrives near Cyrus's hideout. His cronies fire at Joe in his truck, but they do not stop him. He rides into the hideout and his truck flips to its side in the process. When he comes out, Joe starts giving hell to the men there. Afterward, many cronies come out and point their guns at Joe. Then Joe tells them that he came for the boy. Cyrus finally comes to him and greets him as Samaritan. Then he calls him a fake. What follows is Cyrus striking Joe with the hammer. Then he gives him a second strike, which sends him flying. Joe gets a flashback of the legendary duel, and Cyrus keeps hammering him. Then, on a particular swing of the hammer, Joe grabs the weapon with his hand and says to Cyrus that he keeps calling him the good guy when he is really the bad guy and then a flashback reveals the falling of Samaritan and how Nemesis stood there and took off his mask, revealing Joe's face. After that, a bomb near the garbage truck goes off and everyone there flies from the shock wave. Then Cyrus orders everyone to shoot him and Joe keeps fighting. Amid the chaos, Cyrus finds Syl lying there and she is possibly lifeless. Then he, his main crony, and Sam ride in an elevator. Meanwhile, Joe fends off the bandits alone with his hammer. He breaks a couple of pillars there and the concrete falls on many of them. Joe continues to make his way through while ending the lives of many of Cyrus's men. And then Cyrus puts on the mask of Nemesis. His main henchman turns off the power in the whole city. Afterward, Joe runs through walls and comes across the main henchman. When he does, Joe puts his bomb in him and walks away while it ticks. The bomb then explodes with the man off screen. Shortly after, Joe finds Sam and drops his hammer. Then Cyrus comes behind him and picks it up. He attempts to strike Joe, but he turns around and they fight. Then Cyrus knocks him down with the hammer, and Joe has a hard time due to the heat from the fire. Eventually, Cyrus gets him to the point where Joe is hanging off the ledge. To save him, Sam breaks off a pipe and hits Cyrus with it. This action makes the villain grab the boy and hold him in the air. But then Joe attempts to save him in return by striking Cyrus and pushing him back. 
He then bends his hammer and bounds Cyrus with it. Afterward, Joe lifts him and throws him down into the flames. Another flashback then has Joe looking at both of the masks and tossing them down. And then he falls because of his heart problem. He asks for water and Sam uses his pipe to give it to him. Joe gets some water on him, but it soon ends. However, it recovers him to a point and allows him to stand and take Sam in his arms. Once he has him, he runs along the room and jumps through the building, landing then into another one. When they both get up, Sam asks him if he is really Nemesis, and Joe says that he is. Then he tells the boy that good and bad live in everyone, it's up to Sam to make the right choice. Sam then leaves the building and gets reunited with his mother. He speaks with the reporters outside and tells them that Samaritan saved his life. Joe then nods to Sam from the crowd and leaves. 